Hi, Jeremy here from 3D Universe. Today I'm very pleased to introduce you to the new Ultimaker S3. This is Ultimaker's latest introduction to the S line of 3D printers, their Studio series. And as you can see, it's a similar size as the Ultimaker 3, but it has a lot of new features packed into it. Pretty much everything that you get from its big brother, the Ultimaker S5. You've got this nice touch panel display that you can see in the front there, which makes it really easy to navigate, gives you great graphical representations of everything that you need to do. It has an integrated glass door, which helps to control the temperature in the build environment, giving you more reliable prints, especially with advanced print materials. On the back, you've got dual feeders, just like the Ultimaker 3, but now they have incorporated the filament flow sensors, just like on the S5. So if one of your materials runs out mid-print, the printer will automatically pause, let you load a new material, and then continue where you left off. These feeders also have hardened steel components, so you can now print with abrasive materials if you're using the optional CC print core, which has a hardened ruby nozzle. So you can print with things like carbon fiber reinforced materials or glass filled materials that uh, weren't possible before, or at least not recommended on the Ultimaker 3. Inside, you have some other improvements, such as a more stable uh, build table. They did that by adding these thicker Z-axis rods on the sides here. These are a little thicker than they used to be, and they're a little bit wider apart than they were on the Ultimaker 3, so it gives you a bit more stability overall on that build surface. The S3 also has the same great features as the Ultimaker 3 series, things like the wired or wireless network connectivity, an onboard camera to monitor your prints, uh, there is an associated mobile app that you can put on your smartphone so that you can monitor your prints and make sure that they're going okay. Get alerts on your phone if anything happens. And they also have the enhanced active leveling feature, the same feature built into the Ultimaker S5 printer, so that at the beginning of every print job, the print head will actually probe the build surface in a bunch of different locations, and the printer builds a three-dimensional height map of the whole build area. And the printer can then automatically adjust the thickness of the initial layers of your print to compensate for any minor inconsistencies in the bed leveling. This results in much more reliable prints because your first layer always goes down well, even when you're doing larger prints. Well, there you have it, the new Ultimaker S3. I hope you'll check out our website to learn more and subscribe to our YouTube channel to see future videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.